This is the Injury Report, presented by NYU Langone Health. It's the news no Mets fan wanted to hear. Ace Kodai Senga will begin the season on the injured list due to a posterior capsule strain in his shoulder. In today's Injury Report, we're bringing in Dr. Natasha Desai, co-director of the Center for Women's Sports Medicine at NYU Langone Orthopedics, and she's going to help us break down what exactly this means for Senga and when we could possibly see him return to the mound. Uh, Dr. Desai, thanks for hopping on with this. Hopefully after this interview, the Amazons can feel amazing coming out of this. Hopefully there's some good news. Uh, obviously, uh, Kodai Senga had an MRI. He was diagnosed with a moderate posterior capsule strain in his shoulder. I don't know how you doctors say that all the time. That, that's a, uh, a clutterful. But what did doctors see on that MRI to come to that conclusion? And how does someone get this kind of injury? Um, first of all, you said it well. Uh, the posterior capsule is uh, part of the whole joint capsule. Um, the joint capsule is a collection of ligaments that holds the shoulder together. Um, on the MRI, they probably saw some inflammation around the inferior glenohumeral ligament or the posterior capsule. Um, and I think what's more important is what they didn't see. They probably did not see any uh, tearing of the labrum, tearing of the capsule, or tearing of the uh, rotator cuff. So all in all, it's um, a more uh, mild injury than um, than what we'd normally find on MRIs. All right, so they're going to feel amazing after that news. It's not as bad as it was reported, and, you know, people can kind of calm down, pump their brakes on that one. He reportedly flew back to New York to receive a PRP injection. How's that going to help him? What's a PRP injection is, and is surgery a concern with this injury? Sure. So PRP is platelet-rich plasma. That's where we um, take a, a few vials of blood and spin it down uh, in a centrifuge and separ separate out the platelets and uh, the plasma from the red blood cells and the white blood cells. And uh, the platelet uh, concentration is... Uh, somewhere along the lines of like seven to 10 times amount of the normal blood. And platelets are the initial signal color and in injury. So the hope is by injecting around the area of injury that we speed up the recovery time. It augments your own body's uh, healing ability. So it's used um, quite often in acute injuries and also some chronic uh, injuries as well. So what's that injection like? How big is that needle? Because when I was playing, <laughs> I didn't want any needles around me when I played professional football. Like, is that something that hurt him as well? Did he say, ow? Uh, he, he may have said ow a little bit. Um, <laughs> that, I mean, the blood draw is like a normal blood draw. Okay. And then the injection, I'm assuming they did it under ultrasound. It's, it's very guided. It's not like okay. they're um, doing uh, some of the more invasive procedures that we do with PRP where they're trying to break up calcifications or bad tendinosis. It, it's probably more of a bathing the area of injury. Um, and so what that does is, um, is coat the area and okay. then augment the own ability to heal. So it's not, it's not super, super painful. All right. Hopefully he got a nice little Band-Aid with that as well. <laughs> Maybe even a lollipop. Uh, so he's going to rest for three weeks before he's allowed to resume throwing. In your opinion, is that enough time? And is this an injury that could be re-aggravated easily? So most likely this is a overuse injury um, mm. because uh, Pitchers tend to uh, have tighter posterior capsules on their throwing arms. And so that tightness of that ligament um, can strain as easily. And that's why we're in this uh, situation that we're in. Um, so it being a very long season and, and uh, a lot of repetitive um, throwing, it, it's likely that this, is, this can crop up again um, throughout the season. Now, in terms of three weeks, uh, my guess is it's three weeks till he starts a ramp up to throwing. I don't think that he'll be back to full capacity in three weeks. Um, and I'm sure his medical team will have a whole plan on how he ramps up and how he load manages throughout the season to keep him healthy. So when can Mets fans kind of expect him to make his debut since he may not be throwing in that three weeks, which we expected? Yeah, so I, I mean, I would, I don't see the MRI, so I, I'm not sure exactly how bad this strain is. I would um, say the shorter end would probably be another two to three weeks after his ramp up period, wow. but um, it could be longer uh, depending on how these next couple weeks go.
That's unfortunate right there, not only for the fan base, but for him as well. He has been a bright spot to this team since he joined. Uh, okay, so he won't be pitching or throwing during his rehab. So what will he be doing for the next three weeks during this rehab period? Yeah, so it's going to be a lot of uh, rotator cuff strengthening because mm. the rotator cuff is the secondary support uh, to that joint capsule. Um, I also think that they'll probably fo focus uh, a lot more on his pitching mechanics, uh, looking at his elbow range of motion, uh, hip range of motion, spine range of motion, and kind of optimizing his pitching mechanics so when he does go back to throwing, there isn't so much stress on his posterior shoulder. So physically, we know what he's limited. We know what the injury is and what he's limited to do. But but mentally, what would you tell the player or a player who suffered an injury like that? What would you tell them on how to get over or guide them to get over that mental hurdle? Yeah, I think what you have to do is is reinforce that this is a overuse injury mm -hmm. that if we try to shut it down and treat it early in the season, it doesn't become such a plaguing problem throughout the season. Mm. So really paying attention to it now will give him the best chance of success throughout the very long MLB season. That's the hardest thing for a team doctor to do, protect the athlete against the athlete. It's, I mean, yeah. it's, 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 a, it's a whole science within itself. Um, Doc, thanks for hopping on with this. This was absolutely awesome. Hopefully some amazings feel amazing after this interview. Thank you for having me.